It is a sad reality that a really significant gap exists between both the experience and the outcomes of men and women going through the healthcare system. And it is a reality that is just not a North uh, reality or South or East or West or developing or developed. It is a global problem and is one that urgently and deliberately needs to be addressed. And Trevor started to allude to some of the underlying reasons why. And we see three themes. The first one starts with biology. We do not understand female biology as well as we do that of men. And that is not only on what traditionally has been understood as women's health, so reproductive health systems, in, for example, endometriosis, which is a disease that affects 10% of women of reproductive age, yet it doesn't see the level of investment or interest in finding a diagnostic or finding a cure. But it doesn't stop there. And I think what we need to do is redefine what is women's health, because if we start to think about other diseases uh, that are predominantly female, like ne neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, migraine, or other diseases like those of um, autoimmune uh, system, we're not understanding how those manifest in women, and we don't understand, therefore, how can we find cures and therapies that are specific for them. And then if I come to the last part, which is diseases that traditionally have been associated with men, like, for example, cardiac disease, they actually manifest differently in women. So we are not diagnosing women, and we're not treating them, and we're seeing a lot of lives lost. So the biology and the understanding is really important. This links me to my second point. There is an economic argument. We're not understanding it, the biology, because we're not investing in it.